Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Velocity Smith 81 back at it again here, and welcome to uh, the inaugural episode here of Random Pack Retro Rebuilds. You know, I have a whole bunch of the 2021 Chronicles, and I figured, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and open them in a new series here under Madden 22, uh, since we do have, you know, the 20 the 2021 packs. So this will be a separate. Um, a separate series apart from our other uh, Random Pack Rebuild series. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, rip these open. And you guys already know the rules, so uh, nothing new there. So let's go ahead and open up a Random Pack. I do have 14 separate packs here. So we're going to just go ahead and do like a random number, and then we'll go ahead and open these packs here, and we'll put them in the game. So let me go ahead and come over here to our random number picker here. And let's go ahead and generate a number. It gives us number five. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'll go ahead and put these away here for the next uh, episode for this. Again, this is gonna be random uh, retro. So you guys already know the the deal here. The first pack will be the, the team that we are rebuilding here and you know, everything still stays the same, um, you know, with, with the series here. So we're gonna get the Cardinals here for our first retro uh, retro series or for our first retro rebuild so the first card is going to be jj watt and then we got michael thomas here as a uh, as a wide receiver we also have dk metcalf and then we got jonathan taylor and antonio gibson Tyreek Hill, man, what a receiving core this is going to be. Whoever the quarterback's going to be, haven't found that out yet. DJ Moore as well as a wide receiver. Keenan Allen. Wow, just nothing. This, this wide receiver room is going to be stocked. All right, so the first rookie we have here is going to be Greg Rousseau. So again, remember, guys, the 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 rookies are uh, plus three, and with this being an insert, that makes it a plus five. For Greg Rousseau. Next one is going to be Mac Jones on the rookie here on Gridiron Kings. So Mac Jones is going to come in with a plus five as a rookie. All right. So we also have Devonta Smith. He was a rookie this year as well. So this is 2021. So Devonta Smith coming in for a plus um, a plus five on that. All right, and then this is a pink for Eli Mitchell. So that'll be a plus seven because it's an insert and it's also a uh, rookie and it's also a parallel. So plus seven for Elijah or for Eli Mitchell. All right, we also got Russ. Russ coming in here, Russell Wilson. He may be your starter at quarterback. We'll have to see how it all shakes out. And then we also got Austin Eckler here. All right, and the last card is going to be Javante Williams. So Javante Williams coming in with that plus six because this is a rookie parallel or a rookie insert. Awesome, guys. Well, let me go ahead and go over it one more time so you see what the team's going to be. We are getting the Cardinals with Javante Williams as a rookie. Again, that's gonna be that plus five. Austin Eckler, that'll only get like a, a plus a plus two or plus. Yeah, yeah, these are inserts, so that'll be plus two for Eckler. Russ Wilson getting that plus two. Eli, that's that plus seven. Plus seven on that one. Plus five on the Devonta Smith. Plus five on the Mac Jones, because he is a rookie in this uh, this set. Plus five on the Greg Rousseau. And then Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, Tyreek Hill, Antonio Gibson, Jonathan Taylor, DK Metcalf, Michael Thomas, and then JJ Watt. So there we go, guys. So this will be the, uh, again, the inaugural episode for retro rebuilds uh for all this uh 2021 uh you know chronicles 2021 that i have here so uh let's go ahead and see what we got here guys which one is your favorite and uh you know let's go ahead and put them in the game
Hey guys, welcome back here to uh, this episode of Random Pack Retro Rebuilt. So you guys saw the pack, uh, and now we are in Madden 22. Let's go ahead and look at the roster here. So you guys saw in the pack there that we did get Russell Wilson. So he is actually going to be our starter. Mac Jones is going to back him up uh, also with uh, Kyler Murray. And we did get Javante Williams. He did get that plus five. So he is going to be the starter even over a 95 Jonathan Taylor. But because he's a rookie, he is going to, you know, uh, get some better stats there. So, But we also had Eli Mitchell in that pack along with Austin Eckler. And then the the wide receiver room is absolutely stacked. We do have Tyreek Hill here coming in as a 98 after his upgrade. And then we also did have D-Hop here. So he has Nuke and he also has Cheetah there. Uh, we do have the rookie Devonta Smith here. We also got uh, Keenan Allen, DK Metcalf, and DJ Moore. So the wide receiver room for this for this rebuild is going to be absolutely stacked. Now, the only defensive players we did get was Watt. Um, so he get an upgrade up to 92, and then we just, uh, we also did get Russo. He did get that plus five, so he's up on an 83, going to be off the edge there with Chandler Jones. So uh, the defense definitely needs some help, um, but you know with this offense here, that this is going to carry most of this team. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see how this team is going to fare. So we're going to do it the same format that we did with the with the other series here. So we're going to go in and jump and uh, check out the first two series here. Go to midseason, then we'll go to the playoffs, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get into the first game here. Uh, as always, guys, this is always fun to, to create. So if you do like this kind of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, comment what you like about this series. Uh, of course, you know, smash that like button, and we'll go ahead and make more of these retro rebuilds for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump in. Today, from Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee... It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans taking on Russell Wilson and the Arizona Cardinals. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon, so happy to be with you to kick off this much-anticipated 2021 season with me in the booth as we begin our sixth season. All right, so we're going to go ahead and slow this down. Uh, again, we're going to watch the first two series, guys. So here we go. Set to go now on a beautiful, sunny afternoon. And off we go from Nashville. Tyreek Hill set to return it. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a seven-time Pro Bowl quarterback in his 10th NFL season now. That's Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open, now second down. And he'll get this one up to the 26. 
He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, Wilson. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it'll be Titan football. Here comes the Tennessee offense, and you see Ryan Tannehill leading them out. And the former Miami Dolphin had a career renaissance in 2019 with Tennessee and carried it over into 2020. A career-high 32 touchdowns, just seven interceptions, and those were the fewest he'd thrown in a full season. And speaking of full seasons, he played all 16 games for the first time since 2015. He's got to be excited about 2021. J.J. Watt, the one that gets him down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Chandler Jones showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So third and long after the sack, tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. Back to throw here. He's going deep for Brown. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. And taken right at the 35. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning. So both teams do end up going three and out. We're going to go ahead and uh, sim here for the rest of this. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. So it is zero to zero. Uh, Arizona with the ball. They do actually get a touchdown here. They do stop the Titans. Actually, they do get a back-to-back -back field goals there. Uh, second quarter now. So Arizona does get another touchdown. They're up now 14 to 6. Now third quarter, Tennessee does get another field goal and Arizona does get another touchdown. They're up 21-9. Now fourth quarter, Tennessee does strike back. They're up now 24-21. Arizona is driving. They do tie the game at 24. So Tennessee does um, score there 31-24 now. Looks like Arizona is driving. They do tie the game at 31. So with two minutes to go, uh, Tennessee is driving. Um, let's see if they can go ahead and get the score here. And it is now overtime. So the Arizona Cardinals do get it first in overtime. They are driving here. Well, I know at points in this one, you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal. That's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So for the Cardinals, it was a game that could have gone either way, but they get the touchdown in overtime to secure the week one victory. And they will head home next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. 
Meanwhile, for Tennessee, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, and that is going to be your final score. Arizona does come out uh, in, in victory here in overtime over the Tennessee Titans with a score of 37-31. to uh, Russell Wilson does end with 440 yards and four touchdowns, while Ryan Tannehill ends with 286 yards and three touchdowns. Javante Williams does end with 19 carries and 85 yards. Tyreek Hill did have six receptions for 88 yards. And De uh, DeAndre Hopkins had 11 receptions for 140 yards. All right, so week one in the books. Uh, just as always, we're going to go ahead and sim to the midseason, uh, see where they stand, and then, of course, we'll go ahead and check out uh, the playoffs from there. So uh, how do you think this team's going to do, guys? Let's go ahead and sim to midseason here. Again, guys, if you do like this kind of content, as always, I'm always going to go ahead and remind you guys, please go ahead and kill that like button, um, you know, uh, comment, subscribe. Also hit that notification bell uh, so you don't miss another episode uh, of these random pack rebuilds that we're doing. And this is the retro rebuild. All right, so Cardinals and Rams both 5-2 and two here at the midseason point here. Um, so it uh, looks like they're doing pretty good here. Let's see if they actually make it to the playoffs or not. Go ahead and send the playoffs now. So I figured, you know, with this retro rebuild series, I figured we can go ahead and do this every week as long with our, along with our other uh, series as well. So be looking out for more of these episodes. All right, so the Cardinals do end 14-3. and They are in the playoffs. Uh, Rams did end with 11 and 6, 49ers at 10 and 7. Let's go ahead and look at the bracket here. So the Cardinals are the one seed coming into this uh, into this episode here. So we'll have to see exactly how that all turns out. Let's go ahead and look at all the stats as we usually do. Go ahead and look at the uh, uh, the yearly awards here and see how that all turned out. So your NFL MVP is going to be Russell Wilson. Awesome that he gets MVP. So uh, episode one goes to Russell Wilson. Coach of the year is going to be Cliff Kingsbury again. So we get both MVP and coach of the year. Your NFC offensive play of the year goes to Russell Wilson as well. Defensive play of the year goes to Khalil Mack of the Bears. J.J. Watt comes in at number three. Offensive Rookie of the Year went to Justin Fields of the Bears. Javante actually comes in at number two for the Cardinals. And Devonta Smith comes in at number 10. Defensive Rookie of the Year went to Aziz Ojalari of the Giants. Craig Rousseau comes in at number three. We had him in our pack. We also had uh, Marco Wilson and Xavier Collins as well. So best quarterback went to Russell Wilson of the Cardinals. Best running back is going to go to Christian McCaffrey of the Panthers. Javante Williams coming in at number seven. Best wideout went to Michael Thomas of the Saints. Which is kind of funny because I thought we had him on our team. <laughs> Keenan Allen uh, is number seven. Uh, best offensive lineman went to Zach Martin of the Cowboys. Rodney Hudson. Uh, gets number four for the uh, Cardinals. I'm wondering if he got traded or if he got dropped and picked up. I'm not exactly sure what happened with Michael Thomas. Uh, best of lineman went to Aaron Donald of the Rams. Uh, J.J. Watt comes in at number two. Best linebacker goes to Khalil Mack of the Bears. Best defensive back went to Anthony Harris of the Eagles. Best kicker goes to Jake Elliott of the Eagles. Matt Prater comes in at number seven. All right, so go to, let's go ahead and look at the stats here. So number eight off, uh, offense and 21st defense. So top 10 offense with the defense coming in at 21st. Let's go ahead and look at the stats here. So Russell Wilson ends with 4,257 yards. 
33 touchdowns and 7 interceptions with a 70% completion rating. So not too bad. He had 111.1 passer rating. All right, so Javante Williams ends with 1,345 yards and 16 touchdowns. Russell Wilson had 448 yards and 10 touchdowns of his own. Eckler clocks in at 219 and 2. Jonathan Taylor comes in with 135 and 3. As far as receiving goes, Keenan Allen, 1,070 yards and 11 touchdowns. Tyreek Hill, 1,069 and 10. D-Hop comes in just shy of 1,000 with 963 and 6. Ertz, 566 and 4. Eckler, 303 and 1. See, I don't see Michael Thomas on here. Kind of strange how, uh, you know, we, we had him on the team to begin with, and now he's not here, so. All right, so defense. Isaiah Simmons comes in with 145 tackles to lead the team. Uh, Robert Alford comes in with 104. Tackles for losses. J.J. Watt comes in with 22. Rousseau, uh, the rookie that we got, is going to be ha coming with 11. Phillips comes in with 10. As far as sacks go, J.J. Watt uh, leads the team, 14 and a half sacks. Chandler Jones comes in with 11 and a half. Russo came in with nine. Interceptions, Alford and Murphy both clocked in with three. Buda Baker comes in with two. Look and see if there's any fumbles here. There were two, two created by J.J. Watt. And then Alford, Baker, and um, Thompson each had one. Uh, recoveries, uh, Watt had one, Baker had one, and Thomas had one. And then defensive touchdowns, no defensive touchdowns. All right, so let's go ahead and see how the playoffs uh, go here. We're going to go ahead and advance the week and see who we're going to be facing in our uh, in our matchup here. And we get the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Tom Brady. So let's go and look at that bracket here. So... Here's the bracket here. So we do. We are placing. Uh, we are going to be facing the sixth seed in Tom Brady, and then the sec. Uh, the two seed is going to be the Saints, along with the five seed Rams. Let's go ahead and uh, sim out here. We'll go ahead and see how this uh, turns out for these guys, and uh, see how it goes. Again, guys, these are a whole lot of fun to make. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Today, from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, it's the NFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. Russell Wilson and the Arizona Cardinals taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the desert southwest, Glendale, Arizona, and State Farm Stadium. Coming up, an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Arizona Cardinals. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to... All right, so let's go ahead and jump forward here. We're going to go ahead and see how this plays out, guys. So it is 0-0 to start the game in the first quarter, of course. <laughs> so Arizona does strike first, 7-0. Tampa Bay does strike back, 7-7. Arizona again gets another touchdown, up now 14-7. Now second quarter. A lot of back and forth here. Defenses are actually starting to kind of be tough. Arizona just strike 21-7 now. Um, Arizona again 24-7 now. They did get a field goal there. Now in the third quarter, uh, Tampa Bay is not able to really do anything against this Arizona team. Now, okay, so 31-14 now. Now in the fourth quarter here with two minutes to go. Uh, Arizona with the ball. So it does look like here that they are driving. Arizona now up 34-21. So it looks like that is going to be going to be it unless uh, they can do something. And the Cardinals season will continue as we say thanks for watching and so long.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale. All right, so the Arizona Cardinals does move on in the playoffs here. They do defeat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with a total of 34 to 21. Russell Wilson does end with 355 yards and two touchdowns, while Tom Brady had 427 yards and two touchdowns. Javante Williams had 15 carries for 44 yards. Tyreek Hill, six receptions for 133 yards. And DeAndre Hopkins, five receptions for 61 yards. So the Cardinals will continue on to the NFC Championship here. We'll have to see who they're going to be facing here. Go ahead and uh, send them up here to the next game, and that's going to be against the New Orleans Saints. Let's go ahead and look at the bracket here. So we do have the Cardinals and the Saints here in the NFC Championship, while the Chiefs and Ravens are in the AFC Championship. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see, uh, see who wins this one. Hey, so do you guys think the, uh, the Cardinals are going to make it to the Super Bowl? Let's, uh, let's see and find out. Today, from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, it's the NFC Championship Game. as we'll see Russell Wilson and the Arizona Cardinals taking on Jameis Winston and the New Orleans Saints. The EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the desert southwest, Glendale, Arizona, and State Farm Stadium. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the New Orleans Saints and the Arizona Cardinals. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Godden. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump forward here. Let's see what happens here. So, again, 0-0 to start the game. So Cardinals do get the ball first. Uh, they get stopped. New Orleans just score up 7 nothing now. Arizona does uh, go ahead and respond. So it is 7-7 here, start of the second quarter now, coming up to the halftime. Arizona does get that field goal. So start of the, oh, looks like the New Orleans does tie it. Arizona goes does go up 17-10 now in the third quarter. Arizona starting to pile it on now, 24-10. Now in the fourth quarter here, Arizona does score again, now up 27-10. 34-10 now, looks like this game's over. And what a ride it has been. NFC champs, they have punched their ticket to the biggest show in sports. And what a way to get there, to go the entire season and then play for the right to go to the Super Bowl and the right to call themselves NFC champs. Elation has to abound. And that'll close the books on the conference championship. For Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gordon, and our entire crew, we'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl. All right, so that's going to do it. Uh, Arizona does defeat the Saints 34-10. Russell Wilson ends with 329 yards and three touchdowns, while Jameis Winston has 227 yards and one touchdown. 
Javante Williams ends with 16 carries for 82 yards. Tyreek Hill had 10 receptions for 137 yards. And DeAndre Hopkins, 12 receptions for 128 yards. All right, so the Cardinals do move on to the Super Bowl. Let's go ahead and see who we're going to be facing there. And again, we'll be watching the first two series of that Super Bowl, as we usually do here. Let's go ahead and jump in here to that Super Bowl and see who they're going to be facing. It is going to be Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's look at that bracket here. See how they all, they each got here. So again, we were the one seed. We did defeat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And then we did defeat the Saints. So the Chiefs were also the one seed. They took out the Raiders. Um, and then they also beat the Ravens. So here at the Super Bowl, uh, Cardinals against the Chiefs. Let's go ahead and look at the team here. Uh, so you guys saw how it was when it first started. Let's go ahead and look at the lineup now and see how they did. So, looks like Javante Williams does get Superstar now up to a 98. Both Tyreek Hill and D-Hop are now at 99 overall. Looks like Devonta Smith comes in at an 89. Keenan Allen also a 97 now. So, not too bad there for their progression here. And it does look like Russo came up as a 87 and... TJ, uh, D, uh, yeah, JJ Watt does get that Superstar X Factor now at a 94. So that's the team going in. So let's go ahead and jump into the game here and see how that all uh, how that all plays out. Let's see if the the Cardinals has what it takes to take on uh, Patrick Mahomes and win the Super Bowl. Tonight on EA Sports Super Bowl 56 Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs versus Russell Wilson and the Arizona Cardinals. So much has happened since the Super Bowl was last in this part of the U.S. in the early 90s. The Rams and Chargers have both returned to L.A. and they've constructed this incredible new palace for football, SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. And it will be the scene tonight for Super Bowl 56. And what a matchup we have. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the chance from the other side, the NFC, the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gunn with my good friend, Charles Davis. And Charles, for these Kansas City Chiefs, they, of course, were Super Bowl champions two years ago. They won over the Niners in Miami. Well, they fell to the Bucks in Tampa last year, but now they are back making their third consecutive trip to the big game. They have truly cemented themselves as perennial front runners. And now, when we think of Kansas City, we expect them to be in this game. They're trying to emulate the New England Patriots who went to Super Bowls 51, 52, and 53 in recent years. And they came up with a win, loss, and then a win again in those three consecutive seasons. Meanwhile, the Arizona Cardinals into the Super Bowl for just the second time in franchise history. And they're trying to win their first NFL title since the Truman administration <laughs> when they were the Chicago Cardinals in 1947. It's currently the longest championship drought in the NFL. And they've moved a couple of times since then as well from st louis now out to arizona they've been identified differently too st louis then they were phoenix now the arizona cardinals but you think back to 2009 super bowl 43 in tampa when larry fitzgerald caught that pass down the middle and was running towards the end zone you thought to yourself they're gonna win this game but unfortunately for them ben roethlisberger hooked up with santonio holmes 35 seconds left on the clock they lost 27-23, but now a chance to claim a Super Bowl title. This team has to be amped. They have to be excited. They'll be ready to play. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see these first two uh, series, and then we'll go ahead and send it on from there, guys. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And this is caught, first catch for Keenan Allen. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude, and you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who have been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. They run for the first time with Javante Williams. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Four down, four down. Check, check. Out of the pistol, here's Williams. And he gets it down to the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. On the ground, it's Eckler. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's gonna be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Here's Wilson to throw. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Now it's Wilson. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. And Prater's kick is on the money, it's good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now, come back and get greedy later, and try and put it in the end zone. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out at Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And I think this young man's starting to think that at the end of every year, you go to the Super Bowl. Third consecutive trip. Now, only Jim Kelly with four has more. Bob Greasy went to three straight. Tom Brady went to three straight. And Tom Brady obviously has won plenty of these games. Now, Jim Kelly, he didn't win any of his, but Mahomes, he's looking for his second title after the disappointment last year in Tampa against Tom Brady's Buccaneers trying to get the Chiefs back in the winning circle. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They go play fake, Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. 
Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This one complete to Cole Hardman. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. Mahomes now on first down. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. A gain of six there on first. And again, it's Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first. All right, so the Cardinals do go down the field there in their first drive and get three. And they stop the, the Chiefs from scoring there. So now Cardinals with the ball. Let's go ahead and sim to the end of the game here, guys. So the Cardinals on the move, still 3-0. Kansas City does strike at 7-3 now. Uh, Kansas City back with the ball. So a little back and forth here. So here in the second quarter, the uh, like, no, Kansas City now up 14-6. It looks like Kansas City is going to start piling it on now. 21-6 now for uh, KC. Uh, Arizona does get another field goal. And Kansas City gets another field goal there, so up now 24-7. Now in the fourth quarter, Arizona does strike, uh, but will they be able to come back? Okay, so KC does get a touchdown there, and that's going to do it. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports. All right, so Kansas City does win the Super Bowl in this first episode of Retro Rebuild. So they do win 31-16. to Mahomes did have 388 yards and three touchdowns, while Russell Wilson ends with 240, uh, sorry, 254 yards and zero touchdowns. Javante Williams did end with 12 carries and 56 yards. Tyree Kill had eight receptions for 96 yards. And DeAndre Hopkins, three receptions for 49 yards. 
let's go ahead and do it here for this episode, guys. So the Kansas City Chiefs do win the first Super Bowl of our Random Pack Retro Rebuild. So let's go ahead and get to the end here just so we can go ahead and look at the, uh, the ending screen there. So look at the recap here. Again, Kansas, Kansas City does a win over the, over the Cardinals. Patrick Mahomes actually does get Super Bowl MVP. Again, your NFL MVP was Russell Wilson. Coach of the Year was Cliff Kingsbury. Offensive Player of the Year was Russell Wilson. Defensive Player of the Year, Khalil Mack. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Trevor Lawrence. And Defensive Rookie of the Year was JLK, Jeremiah Owusu Karamoa. So guys, that's going to go ahead and do it. If you guys made it this far, go ahead and drop a like. Uh, comment below how you guys like the new series as far as the retro series goes. Um, again, uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss another episode. Guys, this is always fun to make. Thank you again uh, if you made it this far. And um, guys, keep those paths ripping. And uh, hey, have a good one.